Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to play another round, finally, from our um, Pebble Beach tournament using Inside the Cup Golf, round two. Um, Phil Mickelson will um, tee off here again with his uh, team of, uh, well, his uh, group of Troy Matson and Ian Poulter. So that's where we begin today, and I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, to our 300 subscribers. We uh, logged on today and saw that we had 300 subscribers, so thank you to all 300 of you. Um, yeah, it's been awesome. So uh, we're also using our new um, Blue Yeti mic um, yeah, microphone. It's actually red in color, but Blue Yeti uh, microphone. So uh, we figured we'd upgrade. It's been a couple of years now since we've been on YouTube. Um, again, not having done a lot of videos lately. We've been really busy. Um, but we will. our schedule will be opening up um, to where we'll be doing more videos now. That is, we will no longer have our nighttime job. Um, so our business has expanded during the day. So um, there's no need for a nighttime job. So that's awesome. So thank God for that. Um, God bless that. And uh, let's get going here on our... Um, tournament here, round two of our Pebble Beach tournament. So without further ado, let's tee off. All right, so here we are. Hole one, par four, 381. Hopefully the uh, sound isn't too loud, the background noise. Alrighty, so it's been a little while, so it's going to take a second for us to get back into the track here. So he's got his long iron on this hole one par 4, 381. Phil the first to lead it off here. Alright, so let's see what we got going here. Looks like we have an 11-7. So that is going to be in the middle of B range here. So he's right here in the mid, so a nice shot by Phil. 237 yard drive. And it looks like Troy Matson is in the C rough over here. C rough, uh, mid rough right here. And um, Ian Poulter is on the green in two, so he'll be going for a birdie putt. Sorry, an eagle putt. That be, no, birdie putt, sorry. Birdie putt of 45 feet. Right, so Phil has his middle iron here. So 13 is above the 6. So that he'll be good here. So he'll make it. And he's not very close, but he'll be a, have a long putt for Birdie. Looks like Troy Matson ended up parring the hole. So Phil going for a birdie putt. Both Phil and Poulter for a 45 yard, um, 45 foot putt for birdie. So Phil is at, let's see. Okay, here we go. So let's see here. He is going to be 134. So he will not get it and it will be a par. So Phil gets his par. Alrighty, so on to hole number two. Let's see where we are now. We're all, all even here. So the leaders, I believe, are like seven under right now. So around seven under, seven, eight under. So we got a little catching up to do here. And that is at the end of two, um, two rounds. So we definitely want to make sure we make the cut here. All right, so fill the leader off. Two, hole two, par five, 502. And another solid shot. Or it's going to be to the left here a little bit. So it could be in the sand, possibly. 
Looks like it is in the sand. Double check our settings here. No, actually it's not. I was looking at the yellow six there, but that was the one the reader was talking. Uh, All right, so he's gonna be in the rough, B rough, left right here. So, not too, too bad. I'm sure you can get out of that. And uh, let's check the other guys. So after two, looks like Matson will be going for an eagle putt for seven feet. So a very good chance that Matson could pull ahead here with an eagle. Poulter with a, oops, excuse me. Here. Turn our phone off there. Um, Poulter will have an eagle putt of 24 feet. So Phil will need a good shot here if he's going to stay up with uh, his group mates here. Okay. Oh, here we go. So we have it chance here for a go for the green. We're going to go for it. So we're going to need a 13 or above here. Nice shot here by Phil. So 13, he does clear that with his wood. And he's going to have a, he's going to have a good shot at an eagle opportunity, same as pretty much as Poulter. So let's see here. Uh, looks like Poulter ended up getting his birdie so he missed his uh, eagle putt of 24 feet I believe it was Phil is a 23 foot putt for eagle and Matt's in a 7 foot putt for eagle so he'll have to get uh, above a 190 here in order to do that so small chance but chance nonetheless and he will not get it so a little conservative there which but he'll be able to get his uh, birdie here. A 122. So let's see if uh, Poulter, I mean, uh, Matson is able to get the eagle. And let's see here. It looks like Matson was able to get the eagle. So I'll take a look at it here. So Matson is able gets an eagle putt on a second hole an eagle uh, on that so he pulls a stroke ahead and Mickelson and Poulter are now one under par all right so Mickelson to tee it off here after uh, Matson is in the B left to rough over here Ooh, a very nice shot here by Phil good distance on this one Very nice long shot here. And this hole three, par four, 390. All right, so Matson is gonna have a eagle, sorry, a birdie putt for 30, 39 feet. Poulter, 34 feet foot um, birdie putt. Phil, Phil is gonna take his second shot. So he has his pitching wedge out now. So we wanna look for a low value on the uh, white die here. Not that low. But it gets adjusted, it looks like. So he'll have a good shot here for a birdie. So he's going to face an 8-foot putt for birdie. Uh, looks like Matson ended up bogeying it after getting an eagle on the last hole. So that evens out there. So a chance for Phil to catch up at least a uh, Possibly two strokes here and take the lead. Uh, Poulter ended up getting a par, so if Phil can sink this birdie putt here from eight feet, which he'll need a 99 or above on the black die here. Oh, he does not do it. But he does pick up a stroke on Matson, and Poulter remains high with Poulter as he ends up parring it. So we're off to the fourth hole. All tied at one under par with the group. So 
So with his long iron here, we'll tee it off. And not a very good shot here at all. Gotta stay in the middle though, so it's gonna be in the D mid fairway here, so he'll have a long second shot. It looks like C um, Matson is in the C left sand right here. And uh, Poulter joins Phil in the fairway here, mid fairway, so not a lot of distance for any of the group here. So the short iron out, Phil takes a shot, needs a four and above, or above. Gets a good shot here. Excellent there, so nice second shot. Should put him in good position. Looks like Matson ended up parring the hole. Whereas uh, Poulter is going to have a five foot putt for birdie and Mickelson a eight foot putt for birdie. So he needs a 99 or above. Oh, horrible shot here. I feel his worst shot of the tournament here. So that is going to be, he's going to three putt it here. So he will bogey the hole, I believe, here. So not very good for Phil there. Hole four. So let's see if we can make it up on the par three here. It looks like uh, Matson and Poulter will both have a good chance at birdies here. As Phil drops, <coughs> excuse me, back down to even with Poulter taking the lead at two under. So it's long iron out now, needs a ten or above. Gets the twelve. He's going to have a long putt here for par. So we need a 193 or above. Needs a good shot here to make it up for the last hole. Oh, good shot, but not quite good enough. As he ends up parring it. So he remain at even. Alright, and Poulter and Matson ended up parring their holes too, so they'll stay where they're at. Because they didn't, neither of them were able to land their birdie shots. Alright, so Matson and Poulter at the D mid fairway here. Fill this driver out on the hole six, par five, 513. Oh, another bad shot. Does stay in the middle though, at least. But he'll join. Matson and Poulter in the D mid fairway here. All right, Phil with his second shot here. Oh, actually, he is going to have an option to go for the green. He'll go for it. It appears on the other screen. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Oh, so they're all going to be shooting from the D mid fairway here. Phil will go first. He's going for it, so he needs a 13 or above. Kind of a tough shot here. And he's not, he's not able to get it, so that he will be on the fringe here. It's the first shot he's missed here. Um, as far as first shot let's see uh, let's see here all right so we have force with a chip shot here and it looks like uh, Matson is gonna have a birdie shot of 24 feet and Holter will have an eagle shot but from 60 feet so it's Phil's first chip shot of the day you need at least a 113 or above to have a chance at a one shot just gets it 124 so he's actually able to do the one uh, she get, gets above that but he's able to also get the uh, the one shot here so that's good a, a definite one shot so there it is so Phil's able to get his birdie and it looks like Matt's in part it so he catches the shot up on him tied at one under and Poulter 
still at three under. So off to the seventh hole, almost done the front nine here. Moving right along. So it's a hole seven. It's a par three, just 106 yards, very short hole. Poulter is on the green, facing a birdie shot from seven feet. Still needs a four and above from a short iron here. Easily gets that. He'll have a good setup here. Eight, eight foot putt for birdie. And oh, looks like Matson again had a tough hole, has bogeyed it, so he'll drop a shot. So Phil with a chance to get in the second place in the group. He'll need a 99 and above to do that. No, he does not do that as he struggles with his putting here. But he just gets a par. So off to the eighth hole. So Phil unable to take the... Actually, he does take the lead here as he was a bogey. He could have taken a, two shots on Matson, but he remained at one under. Matson drops to even par, and Poulter stays at three under. So Poulter is the D left fairway. Sorry, B left fairway, so he's over here. Um, Nicholson with his long iron here. Needs a good shot here. Gets it. 17. However, he's going to be off to the left here a little bit. At least he's not off to the right, which is the water. You don't want to be over there. So 17, three makes him come over here. Maybe that's with this one, yep. Yeah. He's going to be off to the left here. Still not bad. He's still on the fairway, though. Yeah, he would have been in the rough, but he's on the fairway. So Matson is going for a, is in the rough. So Matson continues to struggle. He'll have a challenge to save par here. Poulter and Mickelson both in the B left fairway. So Phil with his long iron needs a 10 and up, 10 or above. Gets that. He'll have a long putt for birdie. Facing a 30 foot putt, four foot putt for birdie. Poulter a little easier, 19 foot for birdie and Matson a uh, 16 foot putt to save par. So Phil needs a 193 and above to get that birdie. Oh, struggles on that one and the one that put his par. So not a very good front nine overall for Phil. Well, it could be worse, but Matson now plus one. Poulter still at three under. So Poulter with his shot, C mid fairway, still to take a shot here. Tee off with his driver on the last hole of the front nine, par four, 466. And 10 and 11, he stays in the middle here, not too bad. He's in the C mid fairway, same as Poulter. And they're all in the C mid fairway, so they're all a little conservative here. A sip of coffee. Expecting a big storm here in New England tomorrow on January 20th. So we're having our church service tonight, so trying to get a round of golf in before that. As tomorrow probably won't be doing much of anything. Hopefully we'll have power there for the Pats game. Hopefully I won't have to go to work tomorrow night for the, my last week at working nights. So hoping that we don't have the Pats. I mean, we don't have the uh, snows enough so I don't have to go into work. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so Phil the tee it up. Uh, take his second shot here. Needs a six and above. Oh, and he continues to struggle here. As he does not get it. And that's going to be a five. He's going to be off here, it looks like. Oh, did that go in the water? No, it didn't. Okay. thought I heard the water there for a second. So, let's see here. So where are we now? We are in the... Off short. It looks like Matson is also off short. So that is, let's see here. We're somewhere in, in here. We're in the fairway though, I think. And then uh, Poulter 
a little bit better shot than us. He did get on the green. He's facing a long putt for par, and this whole nine par four, 466. So Phil, he's a good shot here. I think that 20 helps us a lot, I believe. Or is that bad? Wait a second here. Does it get this? Yes, it does. So that's right, it's the higher number in here. So, an excellent second shot for Phil. Saves that one. So he'll have a chance to get a birdie here. So Phil with a, actually not a birdie. Par, actually. As Matson gets a, another bogey and Poulter gets a uh, par. So Mickelson with a, just a, almost a little bit more than a tap in here. Just needs a 15 and above. All right, and he is happy to be done as front nine, where the back nine would be much better. So let's take a, we'll take a look at the uh, score after the front nine here. So it looks like uh, Phil's at 35, shot at 35, Poulter at 33, and Matson at 38. So not, overall not too, too bad for Phil, though he'd like to see a few more birdies and no bogeys. Uh, similar to what Poulter's doing. So we can have a much better back nine. So Matson's glad we're done that too. So Phil Poulter teed it off, and he is in the D fairway on this hole number 10 on the back nine. Par 4, 446. So Phil with his driver. Oh, not a very good shot here. Oh, uh, it just... Yeah, it gets to 4 here, so he's going to be off to the left. So he'll be on the sand. Not a very good start for Phil. C left sand. And Matson is in the B left to rough. So we get one of these roughs over here. Just avoided the sand in Matson. So Phil with his first shot with his out of the sand here with his long iron. He needs a 10 and above. Gets it. So nice shot out of the sand. Not a very good number here though. So he'll have a long. He's on the green though. So he'll have a long putt for Birdie. A 45 foot putt for Birdie. Matson with a 42 foot putt for Birdie. And Poulter with a 17 foot putt for Birdie. So Poulter with a good shot to pull another. To go to four under. Phil's gonna need a really good shot here. Needs a 195 or 196 or above. Let's not get it. But he's able to save his par. And off to the uh, 11th. So, oh, Poulter didn't make his shot either. So Poulter remains at three under. Phil stays at one under and Matson at two over. So Poulter with a C left, first shot is C left to rough, right over here. So Phil with the driver out, needs a good shot, 91. Uh, and that's a 19, so he's gonna be, pulls it to the, he's gonna be off to the right here. That pulls it to the right, being a lefty. So, so he's gonna be in the rough over here. He should still be all right, though. Still a straight-on shot, I think. And Matson's on the green in two, facing a 12-foot putt for birdie. Turned to 80-yard hole here. Poulter in the C left rough, and Phil in the C right rough. So Phil needs a six and above here. Oh, just barely gets it. He's gonna have a long putt here, though. 24 foot putt for Birdie. Matson with a his 12 foot putt for Birdie. And Poulter is actually able to get a Birdie. So he moves to four under. He needs a 190 or 191 and above to get that Birdie. Nope. So he gets a par. We're off to the uh, hole number 12, par 3, 202. All right. So 
So, oh, Palter with an excellent shot in this par 3, 202. He's going to have a two foot putt for birdie. See if Phil can get an equally good shot. Needs at least a 10 or above. Gets that. It's not going to be very close, though. So, Phil would like to get a little closer on that one. He's going to face a 31 foot putt for birdie. Matson had a good another had a good shot. He's only a five foot putt for birdie, and Poulter. So Phil could possibly lose a shot here unless he's able to come up with a miraculous putt here. He's a 194 or above. Let's not get it. Oh, but the core stroke adjustment that could be a good thing, I think. Yes. So Phil is able to take advantage of knew that knows the course well. Be able to take advantage of that with that nice 20 roll there on the white die. And he's able to save par. So, miraculous shot there. He needed that to go to two under. And it looks like Matson. Did Matson did not. Oh, let's see if Matson could be at his. Matson and Poulter. Plus two and minus four. To, and Matson gets his, but and Poulter also gets his. So everybody birdies on that hole. So Poulter amongst the leaders now at five under. Nicholson slowly creeping up there. So that was a needed that last shot. So off to the hole 13, par four, 399. So ooh, Poulter with not a very good shot here, just a conservative shot. So he'll have a long second shot. Let's see what Phil can do here. Well, Phil with a nice second shot here. I think he's going to be in the B range here. So Phil, good distance on that. Straight in the mid fairway. And it looks like Matson. Let's see, Matson is going to... He's in the rough after his second shot. ATGFR right over here in the rough for Matson. Poulter is on the green in two. So he'll have a 33-foot putt for birdie. So Phil with a chance here if he can get a good second shot to grab a shot on Poulter. And get closer to the leaders. So Phil needs a four above here and a hot, nice high roll on that white D20. Not bad at all. It just barely gets the gets the shot though, but so he'll have a nice, very nice second shot for Phil. So he'll have a seven foot putt for Birdie. And it looks like Poulter, ooh, Poulter ended up bogeying the hole, so Phil can gain two shots if he can sink this birdie shot and go to, and go and tie him at four under. Matson also bogeys it too, so Phil with an excellent shot here, needs a, needs a 100 or above, very key shot here. Yes, gets it, gets a 171. All right, so Phil, very good last couple of holes here, spurred on by that excellent putt he had last last hole. Oh, actually, he's only three under. Okay. All right, then we'll take that though. So he's able to get the birdie, not the eagle. So it's three under. So he's still one shot behind Poulter, but creeping up on him. Matt since holds steady at two over. So Phil tee it off here as he won the last hole. Needs a good drive here. Seven and 16, oh, not too bad. A little conservative here. On this hole 14, par five. And it looks like Matson joins him there and Poulter after his second shot is laid up right to one. He lays it up. The right one. I think somewhere somewhere over here. Alright, and Phil looks like he's gonna go for it here. Needs a tenor above. Oh, not good here. He misses it here. So he actually decides to lay it up. Four. It's going to be off here. Way up left too, so right in here. So I'm not very good here. That's where uh, Poulter was. So let's see what 
Matson does it his second shot. He lays up left one, so he joins a little ahead of Phil. So Phil will shoot first. Middle iron. Six or above. Excellent here. Oh, looks like a good shot here. Still a little distance away. So let's see all three facing a uh, birdie shot. Poulter with the best chance at 10 foot. Matt's in 17 feet and Mickelson with a long 24 foot putt. See if he can have another miracle shot here. Needs a 191 and above. Oh, bad shot here. Almost three putted it there, but it does go in. Not good there. Let's see what the rest of the guys did as we head to the 15th. So Poulter stays at five under. Phil. So he pars it, and it looks like Matson is able to get a birdie. So he's at one under now. I mean, one over. So a whole 15 par four, 397. So Phil with his driver out. As Poulter adds up an excellent shot here. Poulter's over here, and Matson right behind him. See if Phil can follow suit. So 13, yeah. 18 is going to be off to the right a little bit, though. So he'll be in the rough right over here, though. But Still a little work to do here. Uh, Matt's in. Oh, second shot goes in the sand. ATF. Where are we here? ATF. ATGFR. So this is where uh, Matt's in is. Phil with his second shot here. He needs a four and above. He needs a big roll on the white D20. Oh, here we go, though. This could be good. Is this going to be a chip in here? Well, I'm not chipping, but in the short iron, can he, can he get it in? Exceptional shot. Let's see how close he is. I don't know how exceptional that is. <laughs> it's a B right rough. Where is he? B right. I don't know how. Oh, we, uh, oh, we haven't got the result of it yet. All right, he's on the green. Okay, so that's good. So Phil with a 14 foot putt for birdie. Poulter with a 9 foot putt for birdie. And Matson with a 3 foot putt for par. So Phil needs a good shot here. He's a 151 or above. Definitely makeable here. Yes, and he gets it. So Phil with a nice par there. Definitely came in handy there. Let's see how the rest of the guys did. So we had three more holes left on round two of the Pebble Beach tournament. So Phil goes to four under, but Poulter gets his also. So he goes to six under. So Poulter... Definitely amongst the leaders. Maybe it's just a stroke or two behind. Phil within reach though at four under. Matson remains at one over. The whole 16 par four, 403. Phil with the long iron out now. A little conservative here, but. Okay. As Poulter's in the D mid fairway, so Poulter, even shorter putt. And Matson with a very good shot, A mid fairway. Oh, Poulter's second shot goes in the sand, so Phil with a second, with a chance here, off short sand. So somewhere over here. So Phil with a shot here, and he's a six on the black die, D20 black die. A nice high roll on the white die would be nice. Oh. Gets the black die, but not so good on the white die. So he's going to have a long putt here for 29 foot putt for Birdie, as Matson has a 28 foot putt for Birdie. And Poulter ends up getting a bogey. So Poulter will at least drop a shot on the leaders anyway. So see if Phil can have another miracle putt here, 194 or above. Let's not get it. But he does get a par. So we head to the 17th. Another par three, 178. So 
Phil just one shot behind Poulter for the group lead. As Matson steady up plus one. So Phil with his middle iron out now. Lots of water to the left, so you don't want to go to the left here. Or long to the left. Oh, not very good here. Hopefully we don't go long here. So he does not make this. Eight is going to be here. Says, oh, no, this could be bad. Okay. It's off to the right, though, so that's good. Not to the left. <laughs> Definitely didn't want this off to the left here. So Phil needs to make up this shot here. So off right rough. And it looks like, oh, Poulter's got a 24-foot putt for birdie. ATGBR. Looks like uh, Matson's over here. All right, so Phil with the pitching wedge out. He's a nice high roll on the white die here. Does not get it. Poulter ends up getting his par. And Matson with a one, should be able to get his par, just a, almost a tap in there. But Phil needs to have a really good shot here. Or else he'll bogey the hole. So he needs a 191 and above. Come on, Phil. No. So Phil will drop a shot here. Not a, not a very good way to finish here. We got one more hole left. R5. So Phil now drops to three under. Poulter, five under. And Matson's steadily holding steady at plus one. So Phil needs to finish strong here. It's a nice roll here. the greatest of shots, but we take it. D mid fairway for Poulter, and the C left a rough for Matson. Definitely don't want to stay want to stay away from the left here. This is going to be facing a tough shot here. Needs this 13 or above. Oh, does not get it. But he is going to be approaching the green, so he should be all right. Just miss the water here. It's the 15. 11 or under would have been the sand, so thankfully he rolled at least 15 here. He's a, you know, at least 11, I mean. No, at least a 12, actually. All right, so Phil needs a good save here. So Phil is in the trees here. See mid trees. See mid trees right here. Poulter. Here we go. Oh, actually, that was no, that was in the sand there. All right, so Phil is now layup left, and then Matson layup right, and Poulter with a birdie shot from three feet. So Poulter with a chance to finish strong. So Phil needs above a six here and a high roll on the D, on the white D twenty. Does not get it. Needed that. Needed the reverse here. Needed the 9 on, on the black and the D20 and the 20 on that, but we'll see how close he is. Oh, not good here. <sighs> so Phil will not need the miraculous shot here of 196 and above to get a birdie. Otherwise, he'll probably end up parring it. Looks like Matson ended up just going to face a 9 foot putt for birdie. I mean, for par. And Poulter a three-foot putt. So Poulter with a good shot at a birdie here. Oh, and finishes awful. He had three putts it, so an awful finish for Phil here. And he's going to drop down. Just one, oh, one under. Oh, actually, is it one under or two under? Yeah, just one under with the 70. So not a very good finish, shot, uh, finish by Phil in the last two holes. So Poulter wins here, 30, 66. So Phil, Poulter with an excellent round. Phil could have been better, definitely. Did, definitely did not finish strong at all. Had a great second round until the last two holes where he got a couple of bogeys. Poulter had his moments too where he, he bogeyed it, but he ended up with three, six, eight birdies. So Poulter, very good strong day. And Matson did not do well. Did a little bit better on the second round, but 
There's not much. So, all right. So, let's take a look, save it here. And close it. I'll bring it over here. So, I'll take a look at our leaders here. Oh, Poulter takes the lead with that performance to nine under. So, Poulter definitely in charge now after two. With a two-stroke lead on Villegas, Choi, and Spouza. At six under, it's going to be Bryant, Toms, and Clark. And Owen and Triplett. So, Mickelson right after that at five under. So, Phil is definitely within shot here. He's definitely within range. So we'll see who's going to be going next for us. So we have Tiger Woods and Vijay Singh. So let's see. So Tiger Woods will be going next in the, not the next grouping, the two groupings after this. So he'll, he'll be, be teamed up with Ola Zabel and Stuart Appleby. Familiar name there. And then, then it'll be Sergio Garcia. That's who we have. Do we have Sergio Garcia? I can't remember if we have Sergio Garcia or Vijay Singh. I think we have Vijay Singh. But if it's Garcia, then it's Lewis and Kendall. And Vijay Singh. So there. And there. And then Vijay Singh with Omera and Rose. I can't remember. I think it's. I think it might be Vijay, though. <laughs> we'll see, though. So, all right, so thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. Round two of the Pebble Beach finally getting underway. And we'll be back probably either late, later today or tomorrow. Um, later today after church or possibly before church if we can get one in. And then uh, maybe a couple rounds tomorrow. So take care, God bless, and we'll see you in the next round of Pebble Beach Tournament. Our next uh, playthrough with uh, Tiger Woods and our other golfer. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.